Eric Satie was a French composer and pianist, celebrated for his unconventional style and innovative approach to music, which had a significant influence on 20th century music, especially in France. Satie was born in 1866 in Honfleur, Normandy. His mother was British and his father was French, who worked as a shipping broker. In 1874, Satie began music lessons with local organist Gustave Vinot, who developed his passion for old church music, particularly Gregorian chant. In 1879, Satie enrolled at the Paris Conservatory, but strongly disliked it, calling it a vast, very uncomfortable and rather ugly building. His teachers described him as gifted but indolent and referred to him as the laziest student in the conservatory. The following year, Satie was expelled for unsatisfactory performance. In 1885, Satie was readmitted to the conservatory but made little progress. During this period, he developed a deep fascination with religion, spending much time at the Notre Dame de Paris and examining obscure medieval manuscripts at the National Library. One of his friends humorously referred to him as Esoterique Satie. As his interests evolved, Satie became a regular and later a resident pianist at the Chanois Cabaret in Montmartre, adopting a bohemian lifestyle and crafting a new image for himself as a stylish man with long hair, a frock coat, and a top hat. This was just one of the many styles he would develop over the years. During this period, he began to refer to himself as Eric Satie, gymnopediste, while composing the famous Gymnopédie in 1888, followed by the first Gnosian between 1889 and 1890, two of his most important and celebrated works. Satie made a living as a cabaret pianist, adapting popular music and composing various pieces. Although he later distanced himself from his cabaret work, some serious compositions from this period, such as Jack in the Box and The Dreamy Fish, are still appreciated. Most of Satie's works are brief and primarily for solo piano, with exceptions like his symphonic drama Socrates and two later ballets, Mercure and Relâche. In 1905, he enrolled at the Scala Cantorum, committing himself to his studies for the next seven years. Eric Satie passed away in Paris in 1925 at the age of 59. He is regarded as one of the key figures in music history, with compositions still celebrated and performed by musicians around the world.